I'm honored to read the resolution honoring Women's History Month and the International Women's Day. It is time to honor the struggles of the brave women who dedicate much of their lives to gaining the right to vote in this country. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Fairfax County School Board, on behalf of the Fairfax County Commission for Women and all of its residents, hereby proclaims March 2019 as Women's History Month. So the commission is asking the school board to allow an announcement to be read during the morning time as to not disrupt the classes um, for a two to three minute speech about women's history. So we're focusing on four main suffragists and three of them are already in the curriculum. March is Women's History Month and March 8th is International Women's Day. To honor the struggles of the brave women who dedicated much of their lives to gaining the right to vote in this country, the Fairfax County Commission for Women would like to present the following. The idea came about because the anniversary of the passage of the right for women to vote is upcoming next year. And we thought it was important to celebrate that and to let everybody know that it's coming and we need to praise that and celebrate that. So the Women's History Month committee met and we wanted to find a new way for people to learn more about women's history. And with me as a student representative and Helen Cole as a previous elementary teacher, we thought of um, educating young children on women's history. It's not a topic that's very focused on in schools. Alice Paul led demonstrations, went on hunger strikes, picketed the White House, and was jailed for her efforts. Her tactics were a main reason that in 1920, the 19th Amendment, the law that gave women the right to vote, was added to the Constitution. Today in Lorton, Virginia, a memorial is being built to honor the women who endured harsh conditions and abuse while being imprisoned there because they sought to win the right to vote for themselves and all of the women in the country. It is called the Turning Point Suffragist Memorial. As you approach the voting age of 18 and look forward to casting that first ballot, remember that 100 years ago, any females casting a ballot would have been fined or jailed. So let's remember their sacrifices and give some thanks to Mrs. Stanton, Miss Mott, Miss Anthony, Miss Paul, Miss Glasgow, and many others.